lovers, Jackie here at Hatch Tea Quarters. Today I've got three pieces of artwork valued at around three and a half thousand dollars, traveling over 1,700 kilometers to their new home. One piece I've already packed ready to go in the box, but I've got this large heavy artwork. And I've got this piece that is framed and surfaced in glass. So today I'd like to show you how I pack those artworks to reduce the risk of damage in transit. I went down to my local bike store and they gave me a great bicycle box free of charge that with a few modifications will fit the three artworks perfectly. So now for my setup. I've covered my table in a blanket and a white sheet. It's quite a soft surface, so if I lay any of my artworks face down, they're not gonna get damaged. I've got some low-tack masking tape that I'm going to use to secure the glass. And I've got some acid-free tape that I'm going to use wherever it goes near the canvas. I've got a roll of packing tape, scissors, tape measure and pencil. I bought these cardboard corners from my local framing store for about 10 cents each and they're absolutely essential to protect the corners of the framed piece. I've got some glassine paper. Glassine paper is grease and water resistant. It won't stick to the painted canvas and it won't leave any indentations. I want to use some pretty lightweight packing material to keep my career costs down. So I've got some carpet underlay that I'm going to use to line my box. I've got some foam core board that I'm going to use to protect the glass piece. I've got plenty of bubble wrap. Then I've got some cotton gloves so that I don't put my fingerprints all over the artwork. And for the outside of the box, I've made a number of labels requesting that the couriers treat these artworks with care. And I grabbed a roll of fragile tape from my local courier company. So let's get started. First, I'm going to wrap the canvas. So you'll see I've got my glassine paper laid out you can buy it in a roll, but I bought sheets and I've attached four sheets together using the acid-free tape. And I've got the acid-free tape on the underside. So I'm going to carefully lift my artwork and face down onto the glassine paper. Make sure it's relatively even all the way around. I've prepared a number of pieces of the acid-free tape and just to be friendly so that the person at the other end can remove the tape easily, I folded a little tab down so it's easy for them to, to find the end and pull off. I'm going to fold the edges of my glassine paper over the canvas and stick that down to the frame. that should protect the surface nicely. But the next layer is bubble wrap. When you're wrapping a painting, make sure the smooth surface of the bubble wrap is against the surface of the painting and not the uh, bubble side. The bubbles can leave indentations in some painted surfaces and that is really the last thing you want. So what we want to do is create at least two layers of bubble wrap around the whole artwork. And there you are, the heavy canvas is ready to pop in the box. Now to pack our framed piece. Even though we're going to protect this piece with lots and lots of padding, we need to ensure that if the glass does crack in transit, the artwork itself is not damaged. And we do that by applying low-tack masking tape directly onto the glass. On a smaller piece, I'd probably create an asterisk or a star type arrangement, but on this larger piece, I'm going to create a crosshatch effect. And again, I'm going to create a little tab at the end of each piece of masking tape so that the person at the other end doesn't have difficulty pulling the tape off.
And there it is. I'm now going to wrap this piece of artwork in a piece of glassine paper. For this one, you could equally use brown paper because the paper is not going to touch the actual artwork. Once I've wrapped that, I'm going to put on the protective corners and I'm going to put a solid piece of foam core board over the top to further protect the glass. And now we're ready for bubble wrap. As we did with the larger canvas, two full layers of bubble wrap secured down with packing tape. And that one's ready to go in the box. So here's the box I got from my local bike store. And I'm going to pre-line the bottom sides, front and back, with a couple of layers of this um, Dunlop carpet underlay. I'm really happy with that. So the artworks are actually going to come up quite high and I'm going to have to extend the box up. So I've left plenty of allowance for that. Okay, I'm pretty happy that our artworks are now ready to pack. Generally when I have two painted canvases, I pack them with the painted surfaces facing inward. But on this occasion we've also got the framed print and I want to give that as much protection as possible. So I'm going to put that between the two canvases. Now to avoid the canvases getting an imprint from that smaller piece, I'm going to put some foam core board in between. Once that's all packed in, I'll fill in the air pockets with bubble wrap and close up the box. This box needs to be extended a little bit in height, so I'm going to do that with a piece of cardboard that I've had custom painted by a local artist. Our artworks are all safely packed and we're ready to label the box. I've put lots of reminders on the box for the couriers to take care with this. I've done everything I possibly can to make sure that these artworks arrive in perfect condition. Thanks for watching.